Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, August 16th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. One across, what a plumber might fix a leak in. Uh, hmm, this seems a little straightforward. Is it just a sink? Let's see if we can confirm that on the downs here. Blank colada? No, that should be pina colada, right? So maybe this is pipe instead of sink? Yeah, that also works pretty well. Pina colada. Cousins of 401ks are individual retirement accounts, right? Trail? That could just be a path. Gear up? Is it just equip? Yeah, if you're gearing up, you're getting equipped, right? And it looks like we have an across filled in. It looks like it says Iraq. That seems like a pretty good answer. Baghdad's land. Yep, that's definitely Iraq. Okay. More gray in appearance. I guess that could be ashier. When you have a clue like this that is asking more, that's kind of like a comparative clue. And so your answer is almost always going to end in I-E-R. Um, because it's going to be ashier than something else. Okay, this is probably our first theme answer, this long one. Universal Code of Ethics. Hmm, is that natural law? That's a phrase I've heard before. That seems like it might apply here. Um, is there anything unusual about this answer that might point us to what the theme might be doing? It's kind of interesting that the first word ends in L and the second word starts with L. That's the only kind of quirky thing I can see in this phrase as it stands now. Maybe once we get more theme answers, it'll start to make a little more sense. Got some extra life out of? Hmm. Extra life. Like you got extra life out of a battery or something? I'm not sure what kind of life they're talking about here. Midwife's instruction? Um, hmm. It's push, right? Because they're helping when you're giving birth? Yeah, there we go. Um, maybe it's reused. There we go. Yeah, you're getting more use out of something. You got extra life out of it. Okay. Boggy tract? That could be a marsh. A tract is just a strip of land. Visually challenged mister of cartoons. That's Mr. Magoo. Yeah, it's a classic cartoon character. Participant in a square dance. That could be a gal. Grab your gal and do -si do right? Artist Vincent Van Blank. That's Vincent Van Gogh. He did Starry Night and a bunch of other paintings. I lewdly? Another way to I lewdly could be to ogle. Bearded farm animal could be a goat. What a kind gesture. And when you see a clue in quotes like this, that means they're looking for an equivalent phrase. So we need an equivalent to what a kind gesture. Maybe it's how nice? That's a pretty good equivalent. Active Sicilian Volcano, that's definitely Mount Etna. All right, maybe we can start trying to build out this second probable theme answer here. Where ships arrive and depart, that could be a harbor, right? All right, let's take a peek at this one. We've got a good amount of crossing fill in here. Quick-minded sort. Uh, it seems like it should start with sharp, right? Um... Hmm. I don't know how it's going to end, though. Hmm. 365 dias? This is Spanish, right? And because there's Spanish in the clue, that means the answer should be in Spanish also. So 365 days is a year, and the word for year in Spanish is año, right? Okay. Um... I still don't know what this is going to be. Let's try and get more crossing help. Phrase starting a legal memo. Um, in Ray? 
Yeah, this is Latin. Um, it means like in regards to. This is not an abbreviation though. This is two words in Latin. I actually always thought this was an abbreviation and just recently learned it's an actual Latin phrase. So I'm going to try and pass that knowledge on. Like I for one. This is a wordplay clue. You can tell because it has a question mark at the end of it. So that means instead of taking the straightforward reading of this clue, we're going to have to find a kind of punny little bit of wordplay in here. Um, hmm. This character I is actually very tricky because it could stand for the number one. It could be a lot of different things. Hmm. I'm not sure what they're going for here, but yeah, it's going to be some kind of pun. Okay, let's see if we can maybe build off of this long down. Organizing guru who asks, does it spark joy? Yeah, this is Marie Kondo, right? She's the organizing expert. Uh, yeah, I have definitely seen her ask that question. Um, yeah, I think she wrote a book and she might have had like a television series too. Um, okay, so maybe this is a sharp cookie. There we go. Yeah, I was not thinking cookie at the end there. Uh, okay, so maybe with this long down filled in, we can start to build out this corner here. Feathered Outback Runners. The Outback is in Australia, right? So maybe these are emus. Those are the big birds in Australia. Nog Ingredient. I guess traditionally they have eggs in them. I have Soy Nog at the holidays and I really like that. Steady Look could be a gaze. Stick Tutiveness. That could be grit. Israeli submachine guns. Yeah, those are Uzis. Those are in all the 80s gangster movies. Late night host Myers. That's Seth Myers. So what is this here? Or thereabouts. There's another equivalent phrase. Ish is a good equivalent for or thereabouts. Hmm. I still don't know what this is going to be. I wonder if they're making this I a Roman numeral, like it could stand for the number one in Roman numerals. And then the answer could just be Roman, right? That would make sense. That would be kind of punny, right? And it's kind of funny that in this clue, they're kind of playing off the phrase I for one. That's kind of a phrase that you hear people say right before they are about to state their opinion, right? This is very clever because they're making a joke that the word I could stand in for one, as in like for the number one. And that would be the Roman form of one. Yeah, this is a very clever wordplay clue. I like that one a lot. That is excellent. Info from a spy could be Intel. One of 27 Chopin piano pieces. Um, I wonder if it's an etude. Yeah, and because they asked for one of 27, that means they're only asking for a singular answer. If they had asked for several or something, it could be etudes plural. Yeah, they're definitely very consistent about trying to keep singular and plurals consistent between clue and answer. Okay, language group of Southern Africa. I believe there's a Bantu language group. Yeah. Finished could be ended. Lacking with of. Could that be bereft of? I think if you're bereft of something, you don't have it, right? Make fun of mercilessly. Hmm. It's not a ride. What's this across here? Desire for a contestant on The Bachelor? Hmm. They want a husband, right? What is this? Or is it just a date? Are they just looking for a date? I don't know. Hitchcock film with a classic shower scene. That is definitely psycho. Yeah, okay, so. Oh, it's a rose, right? You get a rose and that means you get to stay on the show, right? Okay, I don't really watch The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. It's all kind of foreign to me. 
Okay, what wolves do at the moon, they bay. That's another word for howling. Long-necked pair. That's a Bosque pear, I think, is how you pronounce it. It's a type of pear. Okay, so this could be roast. Yeah, like you would at a Friars Club roast or something like that. Okay. All right, this is going to be another theme answer, probably. Um, do we have anything in common between these two? Law, cookie, natural, sharp? Hmm. I don't know. I wonder if... It's going to be about music because sometimes you can call a musical tone like C natural, can't you? I'm not super great with music, but you can definitely call a note sharp. So I wonder if this is going to be like flat. Let's see. One who says that you're not on the ball. And this is more wordplay. So we need to be on the lookout for a pun in here somewhere. I have a feeling it's going to be with the word ball. Um... Maybe it's about like a dance? What could that be? You're not on the ball. Hmm. We have quite a bit filled in at the end. Let's see if we can get some more help on the end here. Brand of bubble gum. Hmm. It's not Bazooka Joe, is it? It might be Bazooka actually. Yeah. And then, is this Arthur? Is this a U? Brand of water named after a town on Lake Geneva. Hmm. I think that might be Evian, right? So this is not Arthur with a U. Hmm. This has to be the end of a longer word. At the home of in French. Oh my god. Um, isn't that Chez? Uh, you see that on restaurants like Chez Louis or something? Okay. Conquer for one. That's a kind of an eel. Earther. Oh my god. It is flat. Look at that. It's about a flat earther who doesn't believe we live on a ball or a globe, right? Hey, I think we kind of guessed the theme. That's great. Very, very good. So we have natural, sharp, flat, and then I have no idea what this last one's going to be. We'll find out. Blank planet designation for Pluto. I think that's called a dwarf planet now, now that it's not a full-size planet. Xmas month is December, and because Christmas is abbreviated in the clue here, that means they want the answer to be abbreviated. That's why it's just... DEC for December. Swashbuckling Flynn. That was Errol Flynn. Yeah, he played like Robin Hood in really old Hollywood movies. Okay, Kia Sportage or Ford Escape. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what kind of cars these are. Aren't they just like crossover cars? Are they something hatches? I don't know. Put pen to paper could just be right. Packing heat. If you're packing heat, you're armed. Need for a tug of war is rope. Yeah, you can't do tug of war without rope. Things that gears and crocodiles share are teeth. Yeah, nice. Okay, looks like we got that one right. Um, so this is looking like it should be compact car, right? Maybe this is... Oh, this is wrote instead of write. I'm glad we get to go over this because this is super tricky. The word put in crossword clues should always put up red flags because put can be both present tense and past tense. So you always need to be careful. If you see put in a clue, you need to think this could be present or it could be past tense. And we made that mistake here. We just blithely put in present tense and the answer was actually supposed to be past tense. So yeah, gotta always watch out for put. So now we can put in compact car, and then maybe we can fill out this little corner here. Toward the stern, that should be aft, I think, like on a boat. One half of the McDonald's logo, I guess would just be an arch. It's blank, good cause. The phrase is, it's for a good cause, right? 
Civil Rights Pioneer Parks. That should be Rosa Parks. So what in the world is this? Oh, maybe it's a compact SUV, not a compact car. Okay. Pivotal point could be a crux. We're getting to the crux of the matter. Possess could just be have. And then this is axe. Cancel as a show. Yeah, you can get axed. Okay, finish second, say. I guess if you, you finish second, technically you lose. If you ain't first or last, apparently, according to the crossword puzzle. All right, so it looks like we get a revealer. That's good. Hopefully it'll be about music in some way or another. Let's take a peek at it. Speaking of which, or where the starts of 1630 and 45 across can be found. Okay, so what's going to happen with this revealer is the phrase here is going to be able to mean speaking of which, but it's also going to be kind of a little bit of a clue to what brings these three theme answers together or what they have in common. And I think a phrase that fits nicely here is on that note. Nice. That's great. That's a very nice revealer that ties these three theme answers together. You can have a natural note, a sharp note, or a flat note. Very, very good. This is a perfect Monday theme. That's exactly what you want on a Monday. Excellent. Okay. Singer, carpenter, or actress, Gillen. Um, I think they're both Karens, right? Karen Gillen was on Doctor Who. I know that. Um, okay. Jacket fastener that's not a button could be a snap. Raison d'etre. Yeah, this is French. This means reason for existing. It's a good phrase to know outside of crosswords too. It does crop up now and again. Blank dead Jim, much parodied Star Trek line. That's he's dead Jim. Yeah, that's what Bone says when they come across a dead alien or something. King Kong and others. Yep, and as you can see here, when it says and others, that's an indication that they're actually looking for a plural clue because they're not just talking about King Kong, right? He's an example of an ape, but there's other apes out there too, including humans. We're all apes too. So, yep, we got kind of both ends of that singular and plural clues on this puzzle. That's really good. Okay, pizzeria fixture can be an oven. Assassin of old Japan, I guess would be a ninja. Okay, I've got a J here. That's hopefully going to be easy to build off of. Button at the start of a Zoom call. I guess we're all very familiar with that at this point. I guess that would be join. You can join the meeting. The A in BA, I think a BA is Bachelor of Arts or of the arts. Yeah, okay. Please allow me. We get one last equivalent phrase here. Um, I think a good equivalent would be if I may, right? You're being very polite. So let's just double check and make sure we got these downs correct as we go across. This should be a moor, a heathland. Yeah, that's kind of like a, a green verdant area, right? Um, squabbling could be at it. If you're at it, you're fighting, right? You're squabbling. And then this should be a Y, right? belongs for yeah when you see a clue with a word in parentheses like this that means that same word needs to be able to go at the end of your answer and still make sense this is a kind of ten dollar word here this is a little bit unusual a little arcane um but yeah yens is a word that means longing so yens for definitely makes sense there and we finished a monday puzzle in 21. all right that's a little bit slow for our monday solve time but you know we were going over some good solving strategies i think we saw a lot of equivalent phrases we saw some wordplay um we got one of these parentheses clues so i'm glad we got to go over a lot of that stuff today and there was a really fun theme there was a little musical theme yeah, I like that a lot. We got a natural note, a sharp note, a flat note, and a really good revealer on that note, speaking of which. And I think the highlight of the puzzle for sure is this Roman wordplay. This is definitely something that could show up on a later week puzzle. This is very tricky and very clever. You're swapping I for one, literally. Oh man, I just really love that one a lot. All right, I don't think we fell flat today. I think we were all very 
Sharp Cookies. I hope you enjoyed solving that nice easy Monday with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time. Thank you.